All right, here goes. We're gonna do some rum sauce here. Cheers. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, let's get this stove going. A little bit of olive oil. A little bit of a tablespoon. Let that heat up a bit. In the meantime, let's just slice up these uh, garlic. We got some peppers. Some celery. All right, so we brought that down a little bit, as you can see. Don't be afraid a little bit of a, getting some browning going on there. The next thing you want to do is I throw in my green onions. Mm, I love my green onions. Rolls in, get a good mix going on in there. And that's beautiful. Oops, and then some tomatoes. Not a lot. And what I always like to do is a little bit of butter. That is, take all the stuff off the sides. Five minutes or so. A little butter. And a little Caesar. Bring that down, and then we start adding more stuff. All right, as you can see, look at how beautiful that is. It's coming down nice, it's sticking to the side. It's kind of what we want here. So, first thing I'm gonna do is measure out, I'm gonna say, this is some of my, uh, Home barreled rum, where's the camera? There we go. Home barreled rum. And I'm going to put about, I'm going to say, oh, I don't know, let's go for a cup. One cup of that stuff, put that in there. Look at how beautiful. I love that. Okay. Bring it up to a boil. Do a nice little boil there. We got some beautiful brown sugar here. Now, one of the things that I found when I've done this before is the brown sugar matters. And this is the brown sugar you want. All right? Demerara. It's very, very molassesy smelling. It's kind of nice if you, if you like that molassesy flavor, which I really do. Okay. Up in the foil. You want a cup of that stuff, but I put half a cup in first. Okay, put that in there. Look at how beautiful that mix is. Okay, that nice dark flavor to it. We're going to put another half a cup in there in a second, but first, what I want to do is get my uh, half a cup of ketchup in here. Almost half a cup. Right here. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, the other thing I like to add in here is soy sauce. Not too much. I mean, you don't want it too salty, right? So I like to add about a quarter cup at the most. Even that seems to be a bit much, but 
I kind of do this. Is this my quarter cup measure thingy? I kind of go like this. It's not really a full quarter cup, but that's good enough. It's not too salty otherwise. A whole bunch of Worcestershire sauce in there. Not too much. Maybe three, four tablespoons. Okay. I've got uh, my garlic's already in there. Now what I want to add in is I've got a whole bunch of these spices here. This is beautiful right here. See that? So in that I've got um, uh, some black pepper, some ginger, onion salt, and some chipotle powder. Throw that in. Okay. I how that's just mixing up. Turn the heat down a little bit. Now you've got that up to a nice boil. I'll get that all going real good. I take a little bit of posada. I don't measure it. I just kind of look at this, what I got going on. Put a little bit in. Gives it a bit of a flavor. Um, and adds a little bit of volume to it as well, right? Okay. Mix that in. I'm going to add in. The other half, I'm going to put a little brown sugar. This brown sugar is really wet too. Kind of amazing really when you look at it. Man. Beautiful stuff. Put that in there. It's going to be a nice sweet sauce. Okay, but once I get the cayenne pepper in there mixed in with the chipotle powder, it's going to be a nice sweet spicy sauce to go on top of those ribs. Look at how beautiful that looks already. All right. I also like to add in just a touch, just a touch, a little mustard, just a little bit, not a lot. I don't know why. Might not even taste that when it's in there, but I don't know. Nice to add in. All right. So now we're going to reduce that a little bit, let that go down, and then we're almost done. Our rum sauce. And then I'm going to put in, oh, you know what, let's just do this. See this? This is some rum. Let's just get some rum in there. I don't know why. See how much left? That's enough for about a drink and a half. Okay, a drink. And we'll do that after. Bring that up to a boil. And then I'll be back. All right, we boiled this thing down for, as you can see, a few minutes there. Maybe, uh, 10, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Got a lot of good stuff on the side there. Scrape that stuff down. Okay. A little bit stir. The last couple of things I add to this is uh, some smoked paprika. Because you can't have this without smoked paprika. And then the rest of that rum. Let's just do it. What the heck? Come on. Here we go. See? And then we just give that a nice little whisk to get all those flavors all blended in there. Make this, uh, get this stuff off the side. And again, I let that boil for another 10 minutes. And let it cool. Sort of tightens up a little bit more, thickens up a little bit more. And if you like it a little bit spicy, a little bit more, which I do, I like a little bit of extra spice to it. I take a little bit of sriracha. And I just give it a good little bit in there. You know, okay, one more here. What the heck you're asking? Why not put it in there? And then give that a stir again. And before long, this sauce will be done and ready for some ribs to be coated. All right, there it is. See you on the other side. I uh, forgot one thing, and it's uh, pretty important. Is it a lion? Fresh squeezed lime juice. Throw that in there. And now we're done. See you on the other side again. All right. <clears throat> so after fully sterilizing, boiling these and the lids in uh, boiling water for I don't know, I did it for 20 minutes, the overkill, but they're nice and sterilized now. Um, we're just going to take that sauce that I just made and we're going to throw that into these jars.
experiencing thoroughly in these crazy times. I got a couple of sample containers here for a couple of people that uh, just might appreciate this. All right. my smoky rum sauce for ribs. 